In 2009, Holly Hine left the shores of California and ventured to the University of Michigan to play soccer. The Wolverines were at the start of a new era under the 2008 women's Olympic soccer team coach Greg Ryan. It was an uphill battle starting from anew, but the hill wasn't as steep as others Holly would soon face. <laughs> Michigan junior Holly Hine lives to play soccer. Our first week, we won both of our games. Holly scored a goal, and she was a rock at center back. After that game, I was, you know, thinking, they name the Big Ten Player of the Week every week. If anybody deserves this, like, especially after what she's gone through, you know, this, it's Holly. The first recruit of former national team coach Greg Ryan. Holly has helped Michigan rise to prominence since arriving in Ann Arbor in 2009. We're in a really big rebuilding phase, obviously with Greg just being here in his second season, so I was fortunate enough to be able to come here and play right away. I just love watching her play. I mean, she's such an intelligent soccer player and so skillful and such a leader for us and so tough that, you know, it's like every game, Holly kind of does something that makes me smile. Looking back on it now, kind of taking it for granted what it feels like to play a full season. I'm starting to learn now again this season, but it was, it was a lot of games and some trying times. We weren't very good. Holly had her own trying times, beginning in 2010, when she tore her ACL. Going into my ACL surgery, I was just normal going through the checklist of past history, et cetera, et cetera, with the anesthesiologist, and um, he Went through everything and seemed fine and, you know, went away, came back a little bit later and was like, I noticed something, your neck is you have like a little bump here, does it bother you at all ever? And I was like, no, it's just, I didn't even know it was there really. And he was like, oh, okay, well, you know, if it ever bothers you, definitely go get it checked out. Four months later, after recovering from her knee surgery, Holly's neck began to bother her. I was lifting one day and after, um, both sides of my neck got really, really swollen. And there were two defined lumps that you could see and I had no idea what was going on. So I went home and saw a regular doctor and then ended up eventually seeing a um, endocrinologist. He was like, if there's something going on, I'll give you a call. Holly's doctor made that call in August of 2011, when Holly was back in Michigan for preseason training. And picked up the phone and um, he basically was like, uh, it's the thyroid cancer you've got there. Honest to God, it was like one of those things, it was like the most unfortunate series of events you could think of. You know, you kind of think there's, there's nothing worse for a female soccer player than an ACL injury and to have to come back from that. And then you're like, actually there is, you could get thyroid cancer. Things happen to you and you just have to roll with punches and fight through it. Life goes on and you deal with it. Soon after receiving the diagnosis, Holly began her fight, starting with having her thyroid fully removed. She would spend most of the 2011 season on the sideline, but her teammates made sure her presence remained on the pitch. We'll take a look there at that teal armband. That is in honor of Holly Hine. Has her number on it. We actually had her number printed on our warm-ups with the thyroid ribbon especially during thyroid cancer month. I'd finally come in fit and was just like really ready to play and then, you know, had, had this happen. So for them to do that and to have me on the field with them when I couldn't physically be there meant the world. Then also they gave me a frame with pictures of our team and I'm just really blessed to be here with such great teammates and such a great home. She also received support from U.S. women's national team forward, Abby Wambach, during a visit to Michigan. I told Abby, I was like, listen, uh, there's this girl on my team, I, you know, if you could write her like just a note. And I kind of briefed her on the story real quick and Abby Wambuck was like, oh my God, I don't know how I would have dealt with that. And she kind of wrote Holly a note and I gave it to her and her eyes lit up a little bit and she was like, wow. In January 2012, Holly was cleared to play and is finally back on the pitch with her teammates, helping the Wolverines to a national ranking. She's a rock. <laughs> I have no worries her in the back line, in the middle, because I know that she'll always go in hard. 
The most simple way I can put it is Holly is like the strongest person I've ever met. Holly has downplayed what she went through and I mean, in her mind, I know that she was committed 110% to coming back every single day, but you can't overstate what she's gone through. Holly centers the back line for the Wolverines and has ensured Michigan a position within the top three of the Big Ten this season. That is their highest since 2004.